am upgrading to Melco Amaya XTs. These are great machines. I've been selling them for almost a week now. And this is my new uh, embroidery setup. Came with a bunch of thread. So today I want to talk about what has to be the most annoying feature about the Amayas, which is the switch way the hell back here where you can't get to it. So to give you an idea of what's involved, for me to turn one of these machines on or off, I have to reach all the way back here and be a contortionist, which is really difficult. So I've got a better solution, and I've got it kind of rigged up right here. So I'm going to go through it, and what it is is a little switch that plugs in. So it's it's a different it's a, just another cable, an extension cord, and a switch. So let me show you how I have this set up, and I think you'll like it. I'll post links to these on Amazon. Uh, this is fifteen or twenty bucks a machine to do, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. Now I also have some zip ties that I'm going to use to keep things still. So first off, I need to lift off this. I call it the tray table. So let me do this. All right, so now the tray table's out of the way. We need to route these cables. Um, now first things first, let's, let's power this machine off. So I really want these up here. And honestly, I really need to put these things back in first. So. I've got these, these are the little booster seats for the machine. Now, if you're not strong enough to do what you see me doing, you won't get some help. But I've got enough upper body strength to, to do this. lock the wheels when you lift these machines, otherwise it might be an unpleasant surprise. Alright, so there's a handle here that's built into the casting. give us the clearance we need. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this through underneath. Yeah, that'll work. This will more than work. This is probably what I consider to be the biggest design goof on these machines. And I'm just going to leave that loose because I'm not 100% sure. I actually think it's going to wind up like this. So let's, let's get this through here. Right there. And then 
So if you don't have a zip tie that's long enough for some place you need one, you can actually daisy chain them together. Uh, and you do that this way right here. So that, that will daisy chain these together. do want to pull this in. I'm going to do that differently. Uh, it's really easy to bump the switch if it's in the front, so I actually don't want it in the front. What I think I might do is I've got a really nice spot down here that might actually be better than where I have it. And there's a little bit of trial and error to this, and that's okay. Um, anytime you're doing improvements like this, you are going to get to do it more than once. Yeah, I think this is actually the better spot. So, what I'm going to do is just zip tie this here, and then I'll clean up my cables, and that'll give me a nice, easy to get to on-off switch, and it'll be protected by the tray table thing. I need to do is just clean up where the cables run. I don't want them. I don't want them down there in my inventory. I like to keep hats underneath the machines. Oops, I didn't. These are just not long enough. Just gonna marry this together like this. And then my two cables are just running back here, and, and that's okay, they don't have to be up where I can see them. It's actually better for them to be on the inside. And then I'm gonna clean this up. Just put a little loop in it so it's not loose back here. So it's always good to do two zip ties when you put a loop in the cables. And then it's nice and clean. I don't need this much cable, so I'm going to do the same thing with this cable. And then that's... Let's work it back and forth. And you can get these zip ties at Harbor Freight, which is where I got them at Home Depot. They're cheaper at Harbor Freight. And if you play the coupon game, you can get them even cheaper. Like a couple bucks a package. I think I paid $3 a package for these. And that's fine. I don't care. So, and then I want to anchor this up here. I'm just trying to keep stuff off the floor because crap gets stuck there. The wheels tangle on it. And it's just generally annoying. You rarely need to pull these machines out. 
just rarely need to pull them out all the way. So. Now what we need to do is clean this up. And we need these to do that. And then you just come in here and clip these. You can use separate scissors if you don't have clippers like this. Okay. down here and I have to be careful when I put hats down here I guess you could hit that and turn it off but I don't think you're likely to and I think that's a pretty good place for the power switch on this machine it certainly gets it up and out of the way thanks for watching I hope you found this helpful I'm gonna go ahead and do this machine and then I'm gonna do this machine uh, this machine had a motherboard issue so we sent the motherboard off to get it evaluated uh, and possibly repaired um, and we're just kind of playing a what next game with this machine but I think this is definitely worth saving. Um, these machines didn't have that much usage. And uh, unfortunately, they weren't cared for. You can see they just kind of helter-skelter on the, the uh, feed wheels. And um, it's just a shame. I don't know why you would do this to a machine. Um, but I've got a great tech out of Dallas, Fort Worth, who's been helping me with it. And we're going to get it back and going. And it'll be an awesome machine again.